We're asked to calculate in question one the length of RKB. So RKB is this length here. So we should know that in general, an arc length, a part of a circle, how do we work it out? Well, it's the fraction of the circle we have multiplied by the circumference of a whole circle, 2 pi r. So the formula is arc length is uh, theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. So therefore, AB is equal to 80 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 12. When we type that into our calculator, we get 16.8 to one decimal place, and our unit is centimetres, so we write centimetres. Underline your work and you're done. Next question, we're asked for the arc length AB, again this one is the part of the circle AB, we're asked to leave our answer in terms of pi. We should know the formula for arc length is uh, the fraction of your, the circle you have, theta over 360, multiplied by 2 pi r. So this is equal to 210 divided by 360, multiplied by 2, multiplied by pi, multiplied by 60. If we do that on our calculator, we get 70 pi Okay, 70 pi, 2 times 60 times this number here would be 70, and we have pi. Our unit is millimetres, so millimetres, and that's it, we're done. Question two, 3. Same thing here, and we're asked to round to one decimal place. So we should know the arc length is the fraction of the circle you've got multiplied by 2 pi r, so it's equal to 330 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 4.6. Type that in your calculator. And you get yourself 26.5. 26.5. The units are centimetres, so we're dealing with centimetres. Next one, here we're asked to leave our answer in terms of pi. Now we want the arc length AB, should say B there. Now, what fraction of the circle you've got? That's 90 degrees, yes, but this angle here tells you how much of the circle you've got. And it's 360 subtract 90, which is actually 270. So this is our formula as always. So therefore it's equal to 270 over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 80. So be very careful not to make that mistake there, it's a common mistake. So type that in your calculator and you get 120 pi, leaving your answer in terms of pi and the unit is millimetres underline your answer to show the examiner your work. Next, we're dealing with areas of sectors now. So this is grade B. We want to work out the area of this sector. Again, similar to before, what fraction of the circle do we have multiplied by the area of a whole circle, pi r squared? There's the general formula. So we're substituting in the area of this sector here would be 45 divided by 360, multiplied by pi, multiplied by 11 squared. Type that in your calculator, and you get yourself 47.5 to one decimal place, and the unit, well, it's area, so it's centimetres squared. Underline your work. Next one, very similar here. We're asked to round to 1dp again. So, we know our formula is as follows. So therefore, applying our formula, it would be equal to 110 over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 32 squared. Again, type that in your calculator. And 
and you get yourself 982.969, um, but you want to round that to one decimal place, so you would, uh, because this here is a 6, you would round that up to a 10, 0 and 1, it would actually be 983.0 centimetres squared. Underline your work. Okay, next. Similar again, so we use the same formula. So we would say that is equal to 150 over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 55 squared. Type that in your calculator. you would get yourself 3959.7 millimetres squared. Millimetres because we have a millimetre here, 1 dp. Underline your answer. Now here, a little trick here, how much of the circle do we have? Well actually this is the key angle here and it must be equal to 360 subtract 60 which is equal to 300. So applying our formula we would have the area would be equal to 300 over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 15 squared. And if you type that in your calculator, you would get 589.0 centimetres squared. And underline your work. So next question. Uh, in this question here, we are told the arc length AB. We're given it is 12.56. We also know the radius. We're asked to find the size of the angle at the centre of the sector. We're asked to find this angle here. Well, we do know a formula. We know the arc length is the fraction of the circle you've got multiplied by 2 pi r, the circumference of a whole circle. So let's substitute in. We could say that 12.56 is equal to theta, but we don't know theta. Uh, divided by 360, multiplied by 2, multiplied by pi, multiplied by r, which is 12. Now, we want to find theta. We want theta to be the subject of the formula. So what we could do, hopefully you should be able to do this in one line, multiply both sides by 360, and then divide both sides by 2 pi uh, times 12. 2 times pi times 12. Okay, because that would make theta the subject of the formula, and if you did that, you would get yourself 59.96, which rounds to 60.0 to one decimal place, and underline your work. Next, you're given the area, and you have the radius, and again, you're asked for this angle. So, we know a formula. And let's just uh, substitute in. So 120 would be equal to 300 uh, theta divided by 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 14 squared. Now let's make theta the subject. Theta multiply both sides by 360. Okay, and then divide both sides by pi multiplied by 14 squared. So type that in your calculator. And you would get 70.1. So theta here, actually 17.15, so it would be 70.2 degrees uh, to one decimal place. Okay, now we've got three exam questions. Quickly working through these. Um, the diagram shows the sector of a circle, centre row. The radius is 30 centimetres, so write that on. You're asked to work out the arc length, AB this here, but you're also asked to give your answer in terms of pi, so don't forget that. Now we have a formula for these. We know that in general the arc length, so AB would be theta over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r. Okay, but in this case, how much of the circle do we have? Well, it's not 60, it's 300 uh, here, 
because they add up to 360. So what we would do is we would say that AB is 300 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 30. Type that in your calculator, 300 over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 30 and you would get yourself 50 pi. 50 pi, what are your units? Your units are centimetres, so the answer is 50 pi. Right, next, Fred is making a sector, a sector of a circle on the sports field. Tate comes in three metre rolls. He puts tape around the entire perimeter. How many rolls does he need? Well, there are two things we need to work out. We need the arc length here, BC, and we also need to include the two radii, that 40 and that 40 there, because that would be the length around the entire sports field. Now, we should know a formula um, that the arc length BC is theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. So BC would therefore be 50 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 40, which is the radius. Type that in your calculator. And you would get yourself 34.9, 34.9 meters. But you need to add this 40 here, so you need to add, add the length, that's BC. You need to add the length AB, which is 40. You need to add the length AC, which is also 40. And if you add these up, the total perimeter would be the sum of those, which would be 114.9, 114.9 meters. Now the question asked, be careful, Tate comes in rolls of three, how many rolls does he need? Therefore he needs 114.9 divided by three meters, because each one's three meters, and it would be 38.3, so the number of rolls he therefore needs is 39 rolls, because you can't buy 0.3 of a roll. And just to finish with then, Here's a diagram here, shows a kitchen table, it asks us for the perimeter of the entire kitchen table. So obviously that's this arc length here, okay, and it's also going to, we're going to make sure we add in this length here. Now, let's do the arc length first of all. The arc length is quite straightforward. We know in general that the arc length is given by uh, the formula, so the arc length would be theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r, so it would be equal to, well, the angle we've got here is not the 120, it would be 360 subtract 120, which would be 240, so it would be 240 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 60, okay, so you would do that. and you would get yourself 251.3 uh, centimetres. Okay, now that's uh, the yellow. Now the green here, you could see for the green here, you've got yourself a triangle. Look, you've got yourself this triangle here. You know that this angle inside the triangle is 120 degrees. You know that that length there is 60 centimetres. You know that length there is 60 centimetres. It's not a right angle triangle, so it can't be Pythagoras or Sokotoa. So it's either the sine or the cosine rule. You have an angle with the two sides either side, or two sides with the angle between them. So you know you should use the cosine rule. The side you're trying to find, uh, call A, and call the others B and C in any order, you know that a squared would be b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of the angle a. This angle here must be a. It's opposite um, there. So that length there, therefore substituting in, a squared would be 60 squared plus 60 squared. Subtract 2 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos of 120. So you would do 60 squared plus 60 squared. Subtract 2 
60, 60, cos 120, so So you get that a squared is equal to 10800. So therefore a would be the square root of that. Would be equal to 103.9. So therefore you need to add these together. Add the yellow. Add the green together. And you would get yourself... 355.2 centimetres to 1 dp and it's in centimetres. And we're done.